back again with another K-pop reaction. I want to take the time to thank every uh, buddy for watching and commenting and liking the videos so far. That's been uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> I continue to to uh, survey the pop landscape, and uh, so far it's been pretty cool. You know. This is Itzy with Not Shy. So that was a cool, that was a cool, that was different. That was very different from the other two Itzy uh, tracks so far. <clears throat> sort of a Quentin Tarantino thing, uh, Robert Rodriguez kind of a feel uh, when that started, you know. Uh, 
the sort of the riffy guitar stuff that was going on uh and a lot of the scenery too even that hat that she was wearing was very like very Robert Rodriguez um so just another bit another touch of some some something western inspired um I don't mean like country western I mean like from the west um so they had their characteristic change ups but overall this felt much more like streamlined than the uh first two tracks the sneakers and uh wannabe there were change ups in it but it didn't seem like there were as many um another sort of track where the uh the uh, the mix is significant in how it's actually achieved um but they sounded good they sounded good they looked good uh they're not shy and uh yeah they were kind of they were kind of indicating it as much uh weren't they so this one doesn't like I said with the other two, <clears throat> they kind of felt like they were a little less edgy, a little safer, a little, you know, like for a certain demographic, let's, let's say, you know. But this one, it kind of feels like they're just sort of leaning into, uh, you know, being a little uh, uh, charming, let's say. But uh, let me let me listen through one more time. It's a cool gu guitar part, you know, and then there's another part that comes in. It's sort of. Uh, it's sort of a descending, a very chromatic sort of line. Uh, with that, the the little riffy guitar part going over it, it's it's got that sort of vibe to it, you know, like sort of pulp fictiony, right? So, and it matches with the uh, the visual here. Very cinematic. They always are. So there's been like three different sort of like feels or sounds so far. Though so that riffy stuff in the beginning won't be coming back. So. For most of the song, for the for the, what you could call the song, <clears throat> uh, the the first few bars there before this section, when there was a lot more snare in the percussion part, kind of drops out, and you get more of a uh, kick heavy uh, sort of synth percussion going on here. So there's uh, there's a good contrast in between those two parts. Great pair. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Yeah, you will like it 
and all of this too. This this imagery right here doesn't seem uh, uh, it doesn't seem like it's targeted to that younger demographic. You know, uh, a lot of the choreography too <clears throat> is very. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the right term to use is. You know. They sort of seem to be leaning into a more mature type of edge, I guess, is a good way to say it. Um, it's cool that they're not shy about doing it. Um, good. There, there's a good use of rhythm, of syncopation, uh, especially in their vocal lines. Uh, it's it's because they're so uh, varied. It it changes up quickly, and there's little variations, even when the part comes back around. Uh, coming in before the one, like it almost feels like because it's in four for the most part, and I I have they count, but it almost feels like they come in with an extra two bars. And 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 it's done on purpose so that there's an opportunity to slip this vocal line in that doesn't fall on the one. It's the beginning, but it it's it's coming way sooner, like pretty much on the four, uh, before it, if not sooner. But. Not if I die, also die, cause I'm not shy. Not shy, not me. Nice, nice vocal lines right before in that build up um, before she says, let the beat drop, you know, and then and then it does. Uh, but they're belting. They're really. <clears throat> and the way it's engineered too, they they because they're really sort of leaning into these these notes that they're hitting. It just sounds like they're reaching for that seventh or the octave. Uh, and the mix sort of drops it. And, and puts it a little over to the side, kind of. And it doesn't overshadow the more main vocal line that's going on. Uh, but it's a nice buildup. Yeah. That's what was in the boxes. They stole a truck with desserts in it. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun video. I I liked that one. Yeah. Like I said, to me, it sounded a little bit more streamlined uh, overall compared to the other two tracks. Uh, but Itzy so far is one of these, like I said, where every time... I listen to it, and this sort of applies throughout all the groups so far, but it is m more so because it has kind of a lot going on. Um, 
in each track with so many change ups and so many different rhythms being introduced every time one of these uh, shifting parts comes along. Now, they don't go very many bars without changing it, changing up the feel, changing up the bass, changing up the percussion, changing up the vocal. It's, uh, it's a lot in a short amount of time. Well, this was actually 402. You see, it felt uh, faster than that. It felt like it didn't take quite that long, uh, you know what I mean, to get through it. Um, because of all of the constant changes that happen. Uh, but cool intro in this one. Uh, and then, yeah, and then they come in and uh, do do their itsy thing which is uh which is cool don't don't you know misinterpret my my uh, uh take or my appreciation on it i do enjoy itsy i do and i'm glad that they're not shy <laughs> 